Hey, I'm with Mike at Premier Pet Supply, and today we're talking about fish. This is a labyrinth fish, right? Well, it's a beta fish. It's a Siamese fighting fish, but a, a, it's fine. A labyrinth fish is what I was explaining. They actually can breathe both the oxygen in the air and the oxygen in the water. Oh, that's really cool. The one thing I was wondering, it seems like a small confined area. When it comes to the habitat for a fish, you know, what should we be looking for? So because of the type of fish that they are, they can actually be okay in a small in a small container like that. But okay. we'd prefer and recommend any animal and any fish be put in the largest container okay. possible. I mean, this is something pretty standard size. Standard bowl, you know, something that, you know, everyone has done forever and ever. Right. So this is easy. You could put a betta fish in there and be okay. fine. They're very easy to take care of. Um, goldfish are fine in there as well, but keep in mind for the size, you know, typically it's usually one fish per gallon of water. Oh, okay. You know, is, is the typical rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. You may even do even a little bit more water than that. Okay. Um, but it, it'd be so much better if we could get people to start with a, um, a like a, a little bit of an upgrade. Okay. Get them into an aquarium that has Why filtration. Oh, so the filtration gotcha. on there actually cycles the water, it's mm -hmm. not sitting still and becoming stagnant. Mm -hmm. um, that way that uh, the water is fresh, it's, it's oxygenated as well, so it, you know, it stays a little healthier for them. Now when it comes to decorating your fish's environment, I mean, I just love how far it's come. It looks yeah. so realistic. Yeah, so you can make it look really pretty, but keep in mind, you don't want to take up too much real estate inside the aquarium because okay. we need enough water and volume in there for the fish to swim around in. Okay. Um, but the things to consider and keep in mind is that our tap water is great for us to drink, but the chlorine chlorines and the, the different metals that are in it okay. that make it safe for us are no good for the fish. Oh, okay. So having water conditioners and additives to the water to put in there is ideal. So you have to make sure that you're putting dechlorinating drops in the water. Even distilled or bottled water is even better. These are all easy things though for kids to, you know, to remember yeah. that we can teach them, have them on a routine and a schedule, you know, to get them part of the equation and involved in, you know, uh, keeping and owning a pet. And that could kind of help them to graduate and move on to maybe even like a dog or a cat later on. And keep our beta happy. That's right. All right. It's a beta. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>